Park niggas know me. Curb on, little homie. All days, all days. Yeah. Been a road, been a road. All right, man, another episode, man, of Changing Jewel. I got the great, I got one of the greatest on here, man. I don't need no introduction, but I'm going to let you introduce yourself. I don't even want you just tell them who you is, man. Sean Branch, a.k.a. Teflon Sean, the him. author, Money, Murder, Mayhem, in the building. Man, man, good to see you, man. It's good always a you. pleasure, Good man. to have you, you know man. That. Good to have you. Look, you it's still look. Since you was like this. Yeah. You was had that motherfucking smooth look. You still, you still got that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, 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 so man, God been good to you, man. God been good to you, man. But all the break, man. For those who don't know you, man, give me a little bit about your childhood. Where you, where you from, and stuff like that. Well, I came out, jumped off the porch, man, over northeast, uh, not right up the street from Langdon Park, mm -hmm. and then I uh, migrated to Montana Avenue. But before that, what a lot of people don't know, bone is that um, you know, my my grandma, my father, originally from Lejoy Park. Mm. So I went to school around there, Ghana Patterson, Cadoza. Okay. And um, you know, I started hanging out around there, around Temp and B selling the Right. You know what I mean? Right. And running up and down George Avenue, six forty, right. oh, yeah. searching quarters. Oh yeah, you was all hanging over. over, yeah. I was bouncing all over. You, you know, back over. then, you know, we we was we was a little bit everywhere because right. we went to school with a lot of people. School, right, right, you right. You know what I mean? Right. Summer schools, right. the park, the rec right. center, you know what I mean? Then um yeah, I was I was bouncing around so you, a little bit so, everywhere. So you so you had family and Lee Troy Park, and then you and then you uh, had some Elaine Park, yeah. and then uh, Montana. But I also seen you a little bit on the Trinity side. Yeah, yeah. Too. yeah you was all over there. I said, cause when y'all first, I said, man, I'm with Sean to be down Lacey. like yeah. like Lacey, but you see, you was getting them girls. Yeah. So a nigga might see you anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah you I mean, that's where me and Sparky is. Man, right. Me and Sparky yeah. is yeah. Man, some school. Yeah, yeah, okay. So me and Sean to start hanging out together okay. real cool. So right. I started hanging around Trinidad with him. Running around with him, we were still right. you know, a little wet behind the ears, and, okay. you know, being mischievous and shit. Okay, then, yeah. Then met up with uh, you know, a uh, 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 fat daddy, Mariko. Right, right, right. Uh, right. Know, That's when I started saying you right. That's when I started saying yeah. you right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, shout out the the uh, ears, man. He doing his thing, man. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. and you know, and rest in peace, uh, fat daddy and Rico. Yeah, yeah, but what about right. sports, man? You what type of sport? You fucking around in sports? Yeah, you know, man. We play football. Uh, mm -hmm. Saint Paul. Saint Paul. Uh, Dipped and dabbed a little bit in the, in, in the ring a little bit, mm -hmm. fucking with ham and shit. Mm -hmm. But um, and uh, and fireball around Montana, but I ain't take it serious. Okay, okay. What, what what was your um like like your first brush with the law? My first brush with the law was um, it had to be eighty seven. Mm -hmm. My no, let me go back eighty four when okay. I got in I got in trouble in school. Okay, you know what I mean in the in the cafeteria. That was my first brush with the law. It was some minor stuff. I got a slap on the wrist, went down, seat and all, mm -hmm. and let me out. Mm -hmm. But my mm -hmm. real first, real serious case was uh, 87. 87. When I caught that uh, body of Montana. Okay, okay. See, 87, you catch a body. How old are you? I'm 51 now. No, I'm talking about, I mean, you caught, you caught the case, my bad. I was 16. 16. So, yeah, you said, you said, see, no, for those who for, around the world are not familiar with seat and all, what's seat and all? Juvenile detention facility. Okay. For, for some hard head motherfuckers yeah. like himself, you know, those kids, you know, right. they send you down. It's in law, right? Okay. You know. And Oak Hill is like the the next pro uh, progression, right? You have yeah. seen all the Oak yeah. Hill. What's separated? Yeah. Fifteen, sixteen? What's separated? Aggressive? What's separated? Yeah, the um the age, uh, the type of charge you had, the aggressiveness and stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. You know, seeing all Oak Hill. That's where, you know, you meet a lot of different people that's in the streets and you know right. doing. Dirt right. in the streets and everything from different areas. That's right. how I was able to go to d these different neighborhoods and, right. and mess with these right. different people. Right. So, right. You know. what, 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 what's some of the, the notable people, I guess, uh, in, a, in a DMV area or DC area that you might have met down Oak Hill and stuff like uh, that, you down in relationships with? Let me say that. Shorty Pop. No Pop, my Okay, good man, my little Kevin man. Gray. Kevin Gray. Kevin Gray, shout um, out. <laughs> man, Kevin, that's my man. Right. Uh, man, uh, Black Brown R Street. Oh, you're black Dale, in the, uh, black Dale in the Oak Williams. Hill? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Down, we was in the block together now, Oak Hill. Okay. We was in bunch. Yeah, black just come home. Yeah. Shout out to black, yeah, man. Shout out to come black, home. man. Welcome home. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot, man. You know, just the, um, uh, Mon Rigo. Right. Uh, 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 what's, what's his name, man? Uh, from man, 18 to D, man. Uh, Tali? Not, not Tali, but, um, Mon Rigo. Uh, 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 uh. uh Oh, damn, man, I can't remember his name. Okay, all right. Okay, yeah, so, man, so when, so when you went down there, so now you down there with all the little young gladiators yeah. running around the city yeah. making noise yeah. and all that, man. Yeah. Jamal, when, big head Jamal. Jamal, yeah. okay, rest in peace, Jamal, yeah. too, yeah. Right? yeah. And, and you got a rock of gladiators down there from around the city. When you first stepped on the compound, I know you was built, 
to handle it. But what, do you have a sense of butterflies? Like, man, this shit gonna be, nigga, I get ready? Or how would you feel when you went down that joint? I mean, I had a different upbringing. So, you know, my father and my uncles, they prepared me for that shit anyway, because, you know, back then, it wasn't no weapons, really. We, like, the youngest wasn't carrying no weapons. You right. had to know how to fight. Right, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. you know, they used yeah. to take me in the backyard, man, and, uh, you know, show me, you know, combinations and shit, beat me yeah. up, right. push me down, make me tough when I was a kid. When I was, like, seven, eight years old, so right. I was already ready for it, and I, and I couldn't wait to prove myself anyway because right, yeah. I was smaller than everybody. Right, yeah. So I was always ready, like, okay, I'm, I'm going to show you. Right, like, I might right. be smaller than you, but you're going to remember me and you're going to respect me afterwards. So that was that was the game plan. Okay. And and, and let me, I'm going to get to your adult here, but let me ask you something. For a young dude now that's going through, uh, okay, it's new beginners now, yeah. that's going through that right now, uh, what, what advice you would give him if he was destined to go to adult affairs or, uh, you know, to adult facility? What advice would you give him that you look back now? What would you tell him? But he should, you know, look out for a do or whatever. Yeah, I would tell him, man, you know, first and foremost, mind their business. Yeah, number one. You know what I mean? Like, if it's a situation that come up, man, with someone, even if, you know, y'all might be cool with them, you still don't know mm -hmm. the ins and outs of mm -hmm. that, that situation. So just just fall back and mind your business because mm -hmm. sometimes, man, to get what's get it the worst, right? Right. But, um, and, and secondly, man, to, um, you know, educate yourself while they're in there. Right. Because that's one of the things that, um, I didn't take advantage of coming up as a youngin, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like the education, mm -hmm. you know, being able to pre prepare myself mentally, man, and uh, educate myself, man, right. for uh, for the future. Right, okay, okay. Man, and, and what's your what's your opinion about, man, um, and I don't wanna put you in no, no f funny spot, but what's your opinion about babies, and women and babies getting killed, man? What's your opinion on that, man? That's off limits, bro, you know what I mean? You know how mm -hmm. we, we come up, man, you know, you get your man. Right. Right. You know, back in the day, man, when, you know, and not to glorify nothing, right. I'm not trying to, you know what I mean, open up no old wounds for nobody. Right. I definitely don't want no family members to feel no kind of way right. about nothing right. I'm saying, right. but right. the violent nature of, you know, how we grew up. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it's a part of us, and right. it was yeah. a part of our survival mm -hmm. back then, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, you know, we was we was getting up on them, mm -hmm. right. and, right. you know what I mean, even... It was, it was one shot to the dome or two, right. and that, that we was they was out of it. We was right. out of it. You know right. what I mean? But right. yeah, and, and, and it's and it's. A, I mean, we, we all know it's an ugly game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, it's 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 really a jungle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, I'm a dude that actually enjoy looking at the animal channel stuff like that. When I see it, I'm looking at names though. I'm saying I'm saying hyenas running, yeah. alligators and cat. I'm, I'm putting names to them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like, man, it's 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 an ugly. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a it's a it's a it's square business, man. It's 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 an ugly game. You got game, a whole man. lot of hyenas, man. They can't do nothing alone. They running packs, right? Right. And um, soon soon, you know, person get on their ass, man. You know, they looking for some help, but right. Yeah, right. I know a few like that too, but. Right, right. <laughs> and, and, and let me ask you, I know you've been through a lot of stuff and a lot of things. Has there anybody that you ever had an issue with or beef with that it was on, but you really was like, damn, I really don't really want to beef with it, but it was just, it was on. Like, you know, you ain't really got to drop a name, but if it is, can you speak to it? Or you can say a name. It's on you. I'm going to yeah. say this, right? It was one particular situation, but you know, mm -hmm. that, and this is why I always tell the youngest, like, be careful what you involve yourself in, right? right? Because... Right. You might not even want that, right. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And just because you're getting with it, you think, okay, this is my man. Mm -hmm. I'm going to back his plate. And you get with something. And you, you find yourself in a deeper situation than your man that actually started the situation mm -hmm. be in, right? So it was, it was a time, man, with a, a dude from around Montana. Mm -hmm. Got in tour with another guy mm -hmm. from another particular area. I don't want to say because okay. I don't want to, you know what I mean? Open but the old wounds up. But um, about a female. And because, you know, I'm from that area and everybody look at me as, you know, the hitter or whatever. Right. They felt like I was going to get with it, which I really wasn't because mm -hmm. the little dude I really mm -hmm. didn't deal with like that. Right. But um, they came through and they bust all hit another little innocent dude, mm -hmm. man, and it had nothing to do with the shit. Mm -hmm. And it pulled me into it. It pulled me into right. it in a way where it was though I didn't want to involve myself because I fucked with these dudes down mm -hmm. there to the point where it's though... They not my. I wouldn't say they go as far as say they was my man, but right, I got a right. certain level of respect for them where we can talk first mm -hmm. before it gets to gunplay, right? Mm -hmm. But it ended up getting the gunplay. Man, you know, by the grace of God, nobody was killed. 
Right. You know what I mean? And um, when me and this dude end up talking later, uh, Bone, me and this nigga became, man, too, too, we became, became like that, man. Right, right. I ain't gonna say we became best friends, but right. we became damn near close like best friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's funny, it's funny your story end like that because a lot of times the work we both do, we gonna get into that, that I be telling young, I say, man, Y'all don't even get a chance to meet your ops. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. say y'all more alike than disalike. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Y'all street signs a little bit different, yeah. Yeah. but the same, y'all got the same problem. The refrigerator look the same when you open it. And you know what's crazy? You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of dudes that know us both right. say, man, y'all right. just the light, man. Say, man, y'all better check y'all DNA because y'all actually might be brothers. Right, right. You know what I mean? <laughs> the same complexion, hair, right. you know what I mean? Attitude. Mannerism, mm -hmm. demeanor, respect level, all that shit was the same with me and him. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's why we was able to talk and we, we ended up like that, man. All right. Okay, yeah, and so man, now, man, you're getting in a little trouble, man. Your name ringing, man. And, and like I say, even when you, when the, when the first star jumped off the hook, I was like, damn, Sean. And I, all I kept thinking about, man, you smooth and yeah. girls, <laughs> yeah. right? I'm thinking about yeah. smooth and girls, yeah. you fly, you know, I know back then y'all. Y'all know I break alarms, uh, yeah. close alarms and everything. Y'all was just sophisticated going to the malls, right? Oh, uh, uh, and it's funny because Ed never speak. Do he speak about that about Tank? Because Tank was a bad motherfucker See, with that. And you know what's crazy? Because when we used to do that, I got with that with them. Right. Hmm. You know what I mean? And um, Ed was always telling me, don't tell nobody, man, we doing this. I'm like, right. man, y'all secret safe with me, man. Right, they yeah. pop them joints. I'm like, damn, how you right. get that off there? That fast, right, yeah. right? But Nah, they don't really talk about that too much, right? right? And um, I, I'm gonna let him elaborate on it if you right, want yeah, to. Right? Yeah, yeah. And I, don't, I mean, and I don't see why you know why it should be a, a shame because it's part of hustling. It's part, it's of, part hustling. of coming up. You know, say shoplifting wasn't my thing, but dudes who had it, they yeah. was mean with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. you know, so I was always uh, uh curious, you know, about yeah. about about that job right there, man. So now, man, you catching cases, man. We don't need to go through them all because anybody that got Google. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They already know, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. mean, shit, that's how you got the name Teflon. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's the name? Elaborate on that, though, so people who don't know about the Teflon zone. How do you come about getting in there? I wear the Washington Post gave me that. Right. You and, know what I mean? Because of all the, all the cases I've been beating. Right. They could never they could never get me on nothing, man. And um, one of the cases, I think, was in 94 mm -hmm. when I was uh, in trial. Mm -hmm. And uh, Friday, the, the, the jury recessed. So mm -hmm. the judge sent him home for the weekend and told him, Disregard any media coverage and all that, you know what I mean. If anything come out about this about this case, mm -hmm. Sunday they ran an article on me on the front page of Post called me the Teflon suspect because of all the cases I beat and put Damn. my whole case history, all the cases that I ever beat. Now you know, so the jurors and, they looking at that. Yeah, you know, in the court of law, you can't even, you can't bring up cases that I was acquitted for right. or that was dismissed. All right. They can't bring them up. So the only way they could leak this information to the jury was through the paper. In hopes that they read it, and they did. So, and and, and 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 I'm reading that paper. They came back Monday, man, and found me guilty on some shit I ain't even do, bro. That's crazy, man. Cause people don't understand the depth and the length that the government will go to to get you. They wicked, man. That's why. That's why I elaborate a little bit about the the cruddiness and the corruptness in my book, Money, Money, right. Mayhem. Right. I touch on it a little bit, but in part two. It's going to get in depth more about the corruption in D.C. Poli I mean, uh, law enforcement, yeah. all the way up to the courthouse and, and, and the politicians. Right, right, right. So I'm going I'm to I'm go a little deep in that. I might, I might, I might get assassinated, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> the government might come at me some. But um, yeah, I'm going to shed some light on the corruptness, man, because the way they went about getting me, man, was um, mm -hmm. one of the police says poor to justice, man, but it was, uh, it was unconstitutional, man, and it was wrong. Right. Right, and, and, and I and I know you thought under when that happened that you gonna get some get back with the pill the way they went about that and you still ain't getting no law on that. Man, listen, man, I took it all the way to the Supreme Court, man, mm -hmm. all the way to the the highest court in the land. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because um, I had an issue with uh with my attorney mm -hmm. Bernard Grimm at the time. Mm -hmm. and, um, Bad boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was a conflict of interest, and 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 Bernie was um. He was ineffective because of this conflict of interest, right? And um, he represented a witness mm -hmm. before that yeah. testified against me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And um, it, it, the conflict of interest issue, man, was uh, they shot it down. Right. They shot it down all the way in Supreme Court. Right. But I did not think that I was going to spend no 25 years in my life in prison, mm -hmm. bone mm -hmm. for some stuff that I didn't even do. Right. And to be honest with you, had I got out earlier. Mm -hmm. I, I probably would have been back in, man, because right. I wasn't ready. You ain't really right? learned your lesson. Yeah. You, you was young, and I, and I see the joint, the thing sticking on my mind when they when they had you walking. I guess you the police, 
hallway or something. Yeah. I guess homicide hallway. I'm yeah. thinking, and you come down the camera, come yeah, you kick the camera, you kick that, you kick, you kick yeah. that joint, right? That's <laughs> funny you say that because that that footage right there actually gonna be a part of um my um my sizzle reel. Okay. My trailer for we'll be trying to put together for Triple M, right? Okay, okay. So okay. that that footage right. Well, you working right? on something? So you you, you, you is a breaking news. You can't let nothing yeah, out right I now. I mean, I'm under that NDA. So, okay, okay. So all I right, can't okay. really speak all on right, it, but okay, all I right, just want to. I I do want the I do want the your viewers and everybody to know that man that um I'm not just sitting on my hands, man. I'm working because a right. lot of people want to see a visual to that book. Yeah. Because the book was so captivating, the book was you know it was so vivid. Right. You can actually. Picture everything that I'm describing in this book, bro. And, and I and it was visual me, maybe because I'm a Washingtonian, so I'm I'm, I'm walking through Montana when you're talking. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? I'm yeah. seeing all the traffic moving and all that. So yeah, so that that's good. So you got that same response from people who never seen Montana. They right. was like they can right. they was walking in it with you. I had I had people actually hit me up on Instagram mm -hmm. in my DM that read the book mm -hmm. that came to Washington D.C. Mm -hmm. and. One of the and rode past Montana, but they said it was too scared to get out to walk to see the alley that I was mm. describing, right? Mm. But they actually wanted to just ride past and just see what Montana tourists look like because right. of what they read in the book. And compared with the book, yeah. right? So you probably made it. You made it a national landmark for whatever reason they'll be looking at it like that. But uh, let me ask you: Now you go to court, you about to get the dark joint, man. We gonna fast forward. You going to Lawton, right? For, and everybody know around the country, man, Lorton is, is is a bloodbath, you know what I'm saying? Gladiator school. And you know, coming to DC, I don't give a fuck when we six, five, seven, as soon as you do something crazy in class and around the younger, your ass can go down to Lorton. They ain't yeah. gonna play with you. Like they made yeah. Lorton like it was what's the name, yeah. man? Yeah. So Sean Tuffalon Branch, man, getting off that bus going down Lorton. You know, you saying all the names and looking. Man, what's going through your mind, man? What's going well, through your I mind? Had, I had, you know, when I was up to jail and um I've been up to jail so long, man, that I got sick of it. Mm -hmm. So I had a gun case. Excuse me. I had a gun case in a, that I was ready to take a cop to right. just to go down, Lord. Right. You know what I mean? I had a lot of friends down there, uh, a couple uh, relatives and cousins, a couple uncles, right? So mm -hmm. I knew that, you know, push come to shove, man, if, uh, if it came to it, I had some support down there that was going to mm -hmm. have my back with right. whatever situation right. I ran across, right? right? But... I was ready. The old timers always say, man, you go down low and shorty, man. Right. They just, man, make sure you stay alert, man. Mm -hmm. Get you the biggest knife you can find mm -hmm. and all that shit, right? Mm -hmm. And you know what I mean? But, but, and like I said, again, I don't want to glorify that, but my first body was with the knife. Right. Okay. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Okay. That was the first case I caught was right. with that knife. So I'm right. already ready to push anyway. So right. I wasn't, I wasn't Nick or nothing. You know what I mean? I was... Be honest with you, I was wild, so I was ready to <laughs> get to it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And that's crazy how the, the mental age. You know what I'm saying? Because you be like, you heard so much about it, you like, you know, you, you be like, "Well, Lord, they met yeah. me." You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's straight a, up. That, that's, that's the mentality. That's, that's, a, that's the mentality I'm you like, have. I'm like, hey, I'm like, man, listen, man, I'm a. They gonna get a heavy dose of me if right. they think that it's just about this gun with me. Right. They gonna get a. They gonna get. They gonna be in for a rude awakening, man, because I push that knife too. And that's, I push and, that and, first. and that's the first thing a dude say. Man, he got that gun. We gonna see how he work close quarters. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you get extra, you get extra attention yeah. about seeing if you live up to the hype. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I ain't. I, you know, I ain't never had no problems down there. Right. Lord. Okay, you that's know, good. I ain't, I ain't never had no problems down there, so. It was all, it was, it was what it was. Out the park, niggas know me. Curb on, little homie. All days, all days. Been a road, been a road.